this practical is identification of electronic component and tools so in that we are going to see a register so you can see here the register can be measured using two ways one way is to measure resistance using color code table so here we have a color code table and the second way we, we can measure the resistance using multimeter you can see here by putting the knob at or selectors which has to the multi uh, distance measurement and positive and negative j uh, knob is placed in between the register so that we can see the value on digital display that what what is the value of that particular register but in case of color code we need to uh, just memorize this table where uh, the colors are black brown red orange yellow green blue violet gray white gold silver and none means there is a no color so significant figures are there what is the numbers of them uh, first digit second digit third digit multiplier is there tolerance temperature coefficient and value so you can see here uh, color code of the registers and you can see here what is for the third band what is for the fourth what is for the fifth and what is for the sixth so you can see here there is a gap in between uh, the third color and the fourth color so that gap indicates from where we have to read this particular register colors so you can see here the gap indicate that we have to read from this side so that this will be the first digit this will be the second digit this will be the third digit and so on so you can see from this particular uh, figure this is a third band or register so where first color is looks like it is similar to the color called as orange it's orange second color is also orange and third is actually a red so you can see here so first is orange means the first digit is three second digit is also three and the third digit is red that is called as two but in case of this uh, it is considered to be as a first digit second digit and third digit is a multiplier so you can see here three three into 1k so it 200 actually for the red so 33 multiplied by 100 it will be 330 and there is no color so we can say it is a 20 percent likewise that we have a four band color if uh, the tolerance is upset in it be, uh, if we consider it to be as a none or white color it is considered to be as a fourth band so fourth band is again simple first digit second digit third is multiplier and fourth is tolerance you can see in a fifth band first second third we have a fourth digit as now multiplier and the last one is a tolerance so again in a six band we'll have tolerance and temperature coefficient so how to measure these resistances so you can see here this is a three band color code table or three band register color code so where the first color indicate a first digit second color indicate a second digit and third color is a multi here the fourth one is actually absent and that fourth one is considered to be as a no color or none so it has a plus minus 20 percent the you can say tolerance so the first digit in here you can see the brown so this is one second color is a black means zero and third color is a brown so it is multiplied by 10 so 10 multiplied by 10 it becomes 100 so i think it should be 100 oh okay so because we have a multiply by 10 factor for this brown color four band register color code you can see here this is a first digit this is second digit third is a multiplier and fourth is now tolerance so that was absent in a third we have considered it to be as a no color or none so we have 20 percent now there will be a color that is called as a fourth band that is the tolerance actually so first digit is first digit so you can see here brown second is black so we can consider it to be a black. third is brown again we can consider it to be as a 10 multiply by 10 so 10 into 10 it becomes a hundred ohm and we have a tolerance that is of actually uh, silver so silver has a tolerance of plus minus 0.5 percent so it is plus minus 0.5 the value will be 100 ohm plus minus 5 percent so it will be in between 95 to 10 okay so this is the way we can calculate 
the fourth band register. This is a five band register color code. You can see this is a first digit, second digit, third digit, multiplier and tolerance. So you can see here, this is actually a brown. The second is a black. Third is actually again a black. Fourth color is considered to be as a silver, I think. And the last color is a brown. So you can see here, uh, it is one. 0, 0 multiply by 0 0.1 as silver has a multiplier of 0 0.1 and we are becoming it to be a 10 ohm and tolerance is actually brown so we can say plus minus 1 percent. So this is the way we can measure the 5 band register color. Now in case of 6 band color code first digit, second is also digit, third is also digit, fourth is multiplier, sixth is tolerance and the extra color is there that is called as a temperature code. So you can see here for black it is 250 parts per million per degree kelvin it is 100 for brown parts per million per degree kelvin 50 parts per million per degree kelvin for red orange 15 parts per million per kelvin and for yellow it is 25 so only four or five colors are there you can see the first digit you can see a brown in there second the second digit is actually black third is black fourth multiplier is also a black 7 tolerance is brown and last is also a brown so you can calculate the resistance value of it it is something to be as 100 into the multiplier is actually it's a red it's a black so it is multiplied by 1 plus minus 1 percent and it is brown again so 100 parts per million kelvin this will be the value it is actually 100 ohm plus minus 1 percent with this temperature coefficient. Registers I have taken brown, red and black with silver tolerances. You can calculate from color code table what is the value. So how to measure using multimeter. So I have to connect one terminal of this register to multimeters. Positive we can say probe. I'm not going to touch it and the second I'm going to touch it no issues the second and it is showing us 81.56 ohms so you can calculate it using color code table and you can find it out that practically with tolerance we are having the value if I am not touching it testing the both is showing us 81.1 ohms so this is the way where you can see here I have uh, put the knob of this particular uh, multimeter towards the resistance part it is 0 0.L mega ohm so it is like auto on auto mode you can see here and I am going to connect the second register so that you can identify the value of the second register so the way of connection is we are not going to touch the terminal of the register we are going to make the connection between probe and resistors only so where i am going to put the positive part in this particular p ohm and indicator continuity and diodes part and the common terminal is connected to the black so the resistor knob is at resistors connection measurement now i'm going to take the second resistor you can see here the resistor is having different value started with the we can say a green red orange and silver i'm going to connect at one terminal i'm going to connect it to the second terminal so you can see i'm going to touch it to one part it is indicating 82.2 kilo this is the way we can measure the resistance